and close IV hatch for decal. Check IV hatch equalization valve off. Check cap remains removed. Check emergency MPEV closed and notify Houston. Station Houston, emergency MPEV is closed. Copy. All right, we will take care of step 48. And so step 48 is uh, basically um, commanding the VRIV open uh, so that we can proceed with C press. And step 48 is complete. On the UAA, check so switch depress pump power to off. Pump is off. Check depress pump enabled. LED is on. LED is on. And now we're uh, going to the crew lock depress repress cue card. On DCM, check switch comm frequency to low. TV one's in low. Two's in low. Check switch comm mode to pry. TV one's pry. Two in pry. And this is actually we would be a switch throw. Normally we're in hard line. Uh, so uh, once you go to pry, that is when uh, you have hot, your hot mic to the ground. So here is the first time your hot mic to the ground, pretty much, and uh, besides our earlier comm checks. Also, this is when we're going to start receiving data on your suit. Okay. On the UIA, switch depress pump, pump power to on. Depress pump power on. Crew lock, depress pump man, ISO valve open. E expect alert tone. And depress pump man, ISO ISO valve open. And your caution warning uh, system will, will give you alert tone as we start depressing. Beep. And monitor suit pressure gauge less than 5.5. And the reason we monitor that, we want to make sure that our positive pressure relief valve is operating. Gauge is at 1. On your DCM, when crew lock is at 6.0, EV expect alert tone. And that's an alert letting us know that we're getting close to 5 where we're going to halt the depress. Beep. When crew lock at 5.0 PSI, depress man pump ISO valve closed, EV depress. expect alert tone. And depress pump manual isolation valve is closed. On your DCM, switch display status until leak check displays. EV1 has leak check. Two and leak check. Switch display to yes, hold two seconds. Follow displayed instructions. It's an X state four leak check. It's a one minute leak check. We're not only checking the suit integrity one more time, but we're also making sure that that positive pressure re uh, release valve reset and is closed. Check O2 actuator to EVA. So once you're complete with the leak check, it'll actually tell you to go to EVA. Okay, EV1 is leak check complete. Going to EVA. Two leak check complete. Crew lock, depress man pump, ISO valve open. EV except expect alert tone. IV, EV1, standby, still going to EVA.
EV-1 and EV-A. Copy, EV-1. Oh, exhausted. In the crew log, you press pump manual isolation valve closed. Okay, so we're opening it to continue depress. We're in step uh, 10. Airlock emit emergency impev open. So to help us get below 5 PSI, we're also going to open up the emergency impev that's hooked up to the valve. E1 and 2 on the DCM monitor suit pressure gauge below 5.5. I'm sorry, I misspoke. It's hooked up to the badge that routes out to the VRA. Okay. Maybe one's at one. Let's go at point eight. Crew lock, depressed pump man, isolate valve closed. After two PSI, the uh, manual, uh, the depressed pump really doesn't run efficiently, so we turn it off. Dump the rest of the O2 overboard. And on the UAA, switch depressed pump power to off. Once the depress pump goes off, however, it needs a time, a warm-up time, or sorry, cool-down time before we turn it back on. So we want to make sure that uh, we're right at two and we don't uh, need to use the depress pump again. In the crew lock, attach waist tethers to the crew lock C-ring for egress. On your DCM, when crew like delta P equals just approximately zero, EV expect alert tone. When EV hatch at point five, EV hatch open and so an emergency impasse closed. And so uh, there's a known uh, delta P air on that uh, pressure gauge on the hatch. And so uh, once it gets to 0.5, you can open it. If the actual delta pressure is more like 0 0.3, 0 0.2 when it's reading 0 0.5. And we would also close this valve. All right, now we're in post depress. On the DCM, switch power to battery, stagger switch throws, and expect warning tone. Expect display switch functional. Maybe one's in bed. Two is in back. Just and as a reminder, normally um, this is where ground IV will take over on a real EVA. That's a great point. And so this is uh, also where the start of our EVA is. So PET equals zero when you go to bed. Okay. On the UAA, switch power to EV1 and 2 off. EV1, EV2 off. Check power EV1 and 2 LEDs, all four are off. All four extinguished. And on the DCM, disconnect SCU from DCM. Flight EVA. Flight EVA? EVA. Yeah, we got good data on the ground, all we need is gauge. Copy. EV1 and 2, check pressure pressure gauge. Uh, EV1's got a full point. Five. Here's a 4.4. And so normally, uh, again, EMU is going to be hawking the data and make sure that all of our parameters look good. And if they do, all we need is the gauge, which is the only parameter we don't receive on the ground. Install DCM cover, install SEU in pouch. You guys want the SCUs on? We don't have to keep them on. We can pull them off if you want. That might be a good thing to practice. Yeah. Let's do that. Go ahead and uh, remove it, install it, and then remove it once more.
I'll just keep those off for the rest of the test today. I don't think there's a, a reason to get them in our way. Sounds wonderful. Oh, in the crew lock, check depress valve manual pump main ISO valve is closed. Depress pump manual isolation valve is closed. On DCM, tip control valve to max H. And so what this is doing is allowing our sublimator ice pack to form. So it's taking the load off of our sublimator, letting us get a nice ice pack so we can have good cooling. Switch water to on. Give me one water on. Two water on. All right, so our, our uh, ice pack is now forming now that we've opened up that seed water isolation valve. Check DC and blank and bite off. Give me one blank bite off. Two blank bite off. Temperature control valve three to max C. It doesn't Give me take one complete. Two complete. So it doesn't take very long for that ice pack to form, and this is really just putting your uh, TCV in a in a nice comfortable position. One and two check status. So this is where when Reagan called up, we would let you know we just need the gauge. If we needed other parameters, you would scroll through your uh, status with us and give us those parameters. Maybe one gauge, 4.3. Two is also 4.3. Airlock equals PCA VRV, command close, check position close. And so that's a, a state, uh, ground command. We're just closing that BRIV so it's closed, and then we can repress. And now we go on to our EVA. What are you guys doing today? We're doing uh, FHRC. Awesome. The first of, first of seven EVAs. Nah, we'll get it all done. In one, right? Yeah. Well, good deal. At this time, uh, I'm going to have a TD pressurize us to 4.3 PSI. We're going to have Robin come in and have you guys do some reach valves as well as suit fit checks to make sure your suit's fitting well. Then we'll drop back down to 1 PSI for the rest of the test. Okay. okay. TDTC, uh, we'd like to pressurize to 4.3 PSI. Copy that. All right, suit check on EV1. Let's go ahead and set the suit pressure to 1.0. Oh, sorry, 4.3. Suit check, copies and work. You got two pounds. Three pounds. 